So it's Monday afternoon, the week leading into Canada Day. So super busy week. Probably one of the busiest weeks I have is uh, for sure on the chip run, it's the busiest week of the year. And uh, I've got a trip on uh, on Friday and a trip on Saturday. So no rest for the wicked this week. Um, I think they're both going to be largemouth trips, fairly local. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to put numbers of fish in the boat for guests now. And uh, until the river sets up deep, um, I'm going to try to avoid the river. Um, I don't have any trips booked this week that uh, that would let me down to the St. Lawrence. So we're going to stay local, play around on some local lakes um, in the Rio system probably. And uh, but like I said, the trips are going to be crazy. Um, volume, heavy, heavy volume. So uh, I'm actually going to shoot a video of my order when it first comes in, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after. And uh, that'll give you an idea how many chips one route, one guy with a partner can uh, can sell in one week. So it's pretty crazy volume, and uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it. Canada Day volume. Oh, they're snapping. Uh huh. I'd like to introduce you to Georgia. G'day. <laughs> G'day, she says. That's not a bad one, eh, kid? She's pretty good. She's decent. Pretty mint. <laughs> Throw her back. Apparently, not just a fishing boat, there. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> very, uh, very nice <laughs> Brotherly and sisterly love, hate, oh, whatever. Fun day with this crew. Big fish went to. Yeah, got it. Georgia. <laughs> Senko Queen. Right on. She got more fish not paying attention than she did when she concentrated. So she's got a pattern developing there. She's pretty good at it. Bought a pile of fish again. Went for a swim. That's a good day. Now we're going for ice cream. Ice cream, peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. Tough to, that's how you finish the day. Good day, boys. Good day, idiot. Back to the rig here at Pinnacon Lake. Decent fishing, but oh, the best ice cream. Just prepping some gear here. We're supposed to meet at the lake at 2 o'clock, and the uh, weather's looking iffy, so we're probably going to be dodging storms if I had to bet, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I talked a lot about chatterbaits and, and, and one guy asked me, you know, flat out, he said, I can't throw a bait caster and, and he wondered if he could throw it on a spinning rod. Because most of my guests cannot throw a spinning or a, a bait caster. A lot of them, I set them up with, with just with a spinning rod and have no issues throwing chatterbaits on a spinning rod. Um, I prefer a longer rod just so they can cast pretty far. So that's a seven, six medium heavy Corrado rod. Um, I just put 30 pound braid on it and, uh, those two things right there, you know, the old stick worm is somebody wants to chill out and throw a stick worm around. They always get bit and uh, chatterbait set up. So those are kind of the guide rods I'm throwing right now when I'm out searching on flats for largies. But Decent afternoon. We obviously got blasted off by storms. Dodged the first one. We're not dodging the second one. It is, we literally got it on the trailer with maybe a minute to spare. I drove up the hill and we were out of town and so Still a fun afternoon, we caught a bunch of fish, and uh, that'll be it for today. And I'm home after torrential downpour on the way home, and, and hail and everything else, but now it's actually kind of nice out, which is kind of annoying, but um, fun trip with the frame guys again. They had two guys in from Toronto that didn't do a whole lot of fishing, and, and it kind of hit me that, you know, we're always promoting get kids involved in fishing, and, and we should, and that's, of course we should, but... You know, take someone fishing, like a, your neighbor or somebody, a guy you work with or whatever, just somebody that has never fished before or very little, and I guarantee they'll fall in love with it. These guys had a blast. They were fun to have in the boat, and I think I'm going to see them again. So always take anybody fishing. It's good for them. So crazy week. If you remember the earlier video, this is what's left. That's it. I think we might have broke a record for the most we ever sold on this route. 
Hey everyone, Birdie here. Special week for the vlog. I have been asked to do a segment. So I'm having some guests over for dinner tonight. We're gonna have some cedar plank salmon. I found this recipe a few years ago. It was a big hit then. We're gonna try it again tonight and uh, see what they think. I'll walk you through a bit of the process and uh, stay tuned. This is a lot freaking harder than you think. Planks are soaking. All right, so with the cedar plank salmon, the recipe calls for um, half a cup of the sun-dried tomato oregano dressing, quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes, and quarter cup of fresh chopped parsley. Um, but I have a couple of uh, big fillets, so I doubled the recipe. We're uh, gonna mix them all together and uh, stir and let that sit while the uh, salmon is cooking. All right, so I've got the cedar plank salmon ready to go on the barbecue. We'll take that out and get that on. Okay, so they're on. They'll sit there for 10 minutes and then we'll put the topping on and cook for another 10 minutes. All right, so we're at the halfway mark. We're 10 minutes in. Now I'm going to put the topping on the salmon. All right, so there's the topping on the salmon. Note to self, use longer spatula. I just burnt all the hair off my knuckles. So we'll give that another 10 minutes and we'll see what the finished product looks like. They're playing in London, so England, eh? here's the end result. Um, we're about to dig in in a few minutes. So these are my guests for tonight. My Aunt Dorothy, my Aunt Jean, and my Aunt Marion. We're having the cedar plank salmon. That is the end result. What do you think, ladies? Very, very, very good. good. Very good. Very good. So will I give Chef Ramsey a run for his money? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We don't have his attitude. That's a wrap on dinner and my segment for the vlog this week. It's been an honor. Thanks, RJ. Mm -hmm. Pretty good job, I'd say. So we're home from Canada Day celebrations. I know you guys post a lot of crap about politicians. And I know you like doing that and you think you're real funny doing it. But never forget, you live in one of the greatest countries in the world. Canada. Yeah, you do. I know you think he's a jackass, and I do too, but that's okay. We all can be a jackass at times, but you live in one of the greatest countries in the world. That's the story, the end of the story. But uh, So, decent week. Uh, thanks for your recipe. You're welcome. Cook some more fish and you'll be in the vlog a little more. But uh, vlogging ain't so easy, is it, Bert? No, it is not. No. So, anyways, that's a wrap on the week, this coming week. Uh, Renegade is back on Big Rito, so if you want to come out the way in Saturday at Rio Fair Harbor, uh, what else this week? A couple more guide trips and working. If you broke anything on the weekend, what should you do? Come see us at service at Parco Marina. We'd be happy to help you. That's a plug if I ever saw one. <laughs> see you next week.